Now on a Sunday afternoon in Northern California, MLB The Show has baseball from the Oakland Coliseum. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend series between the Boston Red Sox and the Oakland A's. Oakland have lost their last five games. They'll attempt to break that streak right after this. Andrew Triggs, a right-hander out of Tennessee, will be the starting pitcher. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, Matty, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over nine in his last three starts, and he has to do a lot better. This guy isn't that bad of a pitcher, but one of the keys, he needs to start limiting the number of hits and to limit the number of base on balls. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn things around in this one here today. Here's the first pitch to him. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one. And Dan Dero, these A's as they begin play here this afternoon. They come into this one in need of some kind of spark to turn them around as they find themselves in the midst of a five game slide. The 1 1. He's swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Now that's when you know it's a good pitch. He broke off a really nice breaking ball down in the zone right there, and even though this is one of the best hitters around, he waved right through it. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So it's a leadoff base hit to start the Red Sox half of the inning. Yeah, he's going to have to work that sinker down in the zone. That's his bread and butter pitch, and if he's going to leave that belt high, that's going to spell disaster. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia, and he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. First pitch of the at-bat. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And he is in there. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, they're seeing this pitcher well right now. They were obviously paying attention in a hitters meeting. He's found a barrel to the first two guys to start this game. Now he's got to worry about the middle of the order. But the runner's back easily. And he'll turn and throw back to second again, keeping particularly close tabs on him. And again a throw, being especially careful here. Here's J.D. Martinez. And this one's in the dirt. And the runners will stay put here on ball one. Looked like a slider perhaps, but it missed badly and it's 2-0. Oh. Over the outside half and it's 2-1. And, and set up behind the dish is Woody Keller as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call a pitch above the zone. And late reactions, and they got him. Set, and the 2-1 and one pitch. Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him. Pedroia, a runner at first with one gun in the inning. Runners on the move for second. Got him swinging the throw. And he is out at second. At the plate, Franklin Barreto. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Leading off for the He's ready. Here's the first offering. Second baseman. Franklin. And he takes a pitch right down the middle. Well, these Red Sox entering play here this afternoon. They come in winners of two straight, and they've been playing some good baseball as well. 
Yeah, Maddie, without question. We, they find themselves in this position today. They got a chance to sweep the series on Sunday and make it a miraculous weekend. Boy, Dior, that's always a nice way to finish off a weekend. You win a big game on Saturday, and to close it off with a win here and a sweep on Sunday would really be sweet for this ball club. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. With that, let's look at the starting lineup for the hometown A's. What's your take as they try to get back to their winning ways, d -Row? Well, Matty, this lineup's going to have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable, stay on the attack, get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. They let this guy settle in. He'll breeze through seven strong. And now a pitch that's taken here by Lowry as that evens the count at one and one. Lifetime versus David Price. He's totaled four hits in 18 at bats. Now a bouncing ball hit to Pedroia at second. On to first, and the price is right here, two away. Here's Chris Davis now. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. And this is taken outside for ball one. And that pitch catches the inside corner. And he misses two and one. I know the umpire balled that one right there, but it was close enough. He's going to try and establish that pitch in. As an offensive player, you've got to build that rapport with the umpire. He can't give him anything off the inside half of the plate. Now Price misses here on two and two, and he runs it full. Three balls and two strikes. Matt Olson would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0 and 1. A runner on first with two away. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Settling in now, Steve Pierce is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. And this one's nowhere close as that bounces to the plate for ball one. In his career, Pierce brings a batting average just a little over the 250 mark. Here it comes, 1 0. Missed with a slider. I don't mind him trying to pitch him backwards right there with those two early count sliders. But now he finds himself in a situation where he's going to have to come fastball. The 2 0 on the way. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. Now the 2 1. Popped up. Olsen has a play, and that's the first out of the inning. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He comes in with a six-game hitting streak to his credit, so he'll look to keep that rolling in this one. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. Played on the backhand. Throw on to first to get him. Score at 5 3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6 to 3 ground ball. Nevertheless, there are two away now. Digging in, Eduardo Nunez. He's hitting in the 270s on the season coming into this one. Sinkers in there. No balls and a strike. And that's in there as well. 0 and 2 now. Hey, I love the aggressive nature this guy's pitching with. He's got focus. He's commanding the fastball. Really being aggressive right now. A lot different than his last start where he took a loss and seen. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here. Here's Matt Joyce now. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. In there, and it's 0 and 1.
into the corner and slicing foul. Now the 0 2 from Price. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. All right, let's take a quick look at how the Red Sox set up on D today. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff, it should be your focus. Takes a knee-high fastball. Bottom of the second here with no score. Hit hard on the ground to third. Devers fields it cleanly. And quickly, there are two away. Batting seven, center fielder. Up next, the speedy outfielder, Dustin Fowler. It's been a really slow start to the season for him, as you can see by the April numbers on your screen. Strike one to start the at-bat. Price gets his sign. 0-1 oh, on its way. And that one right down Main Street. Pretty good pitch to hit there that he let go. I know it's early and they're probably wanting to run his pitch count up, but he may not get another pitch like that to swing at the rest of the game. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. A's are gone in order. We'll move. Welcome back to Oakland as we're set for the start of the third from the Coliseum here on the show. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. 7 8 9, bottom of the order set to go here in the third. In there at the knees, strike one. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Benintendi is a player referred to as clutch by teammates coaches and of course the media he seems to find himself in pressure situations often and it's hard to find many instances where those moments have gotten the best of him. it just appears he really relishes the big spot the one two popped him up Chapman is there and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Rafael Devers the next to bat and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Drilled right back up the middle. And very quickly there they're two gone to start the inning. Into the box now Christian Vasquez. And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Sinker to open the A.B. in there for strike one. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. Oh, and that is right down the middle for strike two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. One and two to the Red Sox catcher. Third inning, no score to this point. to two Ball. balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. He's at the knees and called strike three. Coming to the plate now, Matt Chapman. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Back to work now is Price as he gets ahead to start the inning. It's strike one. Yeah, you attack the zone and get a swing and a miss that late on your first pitch fastball. Good chance he's coming right back with the same thing. Hard on the ground towards short. Nunez is up with it. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang bang play at first. And with one gone, time for a check of the standings to see where the Red Sox place in the American League East. Now the first pitch here from Price. A high fastball is in there. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Swing and a ball hit high in the air, deep down the left field line. This has plenty of carry, and that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. 
And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. But this will land out there just foul. Popped up. Vasquez over to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter, number one. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Franklin Barreto he was a strikeout victim in his first try. A ball and no strikes. One and one to Franklin Barreto. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Here's a fastball now that's hit softly down the line to third. And there's the first hit of the game for the A's. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Yeah, this one was starting to look like it was going to be okay, one of those eight, one, two, three five. easy innings. Ten. But now all, all right. of a sudden, they have the go-ahead run standing out there at second base after the two-out double. Big moment here. Right. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. According to the career numbers on the back of his baseball card, Lowry is exactly a 260 hitter. Barreto stands at second with two gone. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three, and the inning is. Here's Mookie Betts as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Hey, listen, when you have a good sinker, you have to throw it, but he's going to have to get the ball much lower in the zone than that last one. Yeah, from the offensive side, Dan, two-seamer, pitcher, sinker, baller, what have you, you're looking for that thing to pop up above the belt, and that's exactly what happened right there. Miss middle. Betts is on the move. This one's blooped out toward right center field. Joyce coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Hey, that's a beautiful job of executing a hit and run right there. Pretty interesting. Must have known he was going to try and get over the heart of the plate right there with something either fastball or something off speed because he was coming unglued. Oh, oh. Stepping in now, J.D. Martinez. The tag, and he is out at the plate. So much for our first run of the ball game. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball is driven to right field and deep. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. Pedroia rounds third and is digging for the plate. Now it's cut off. A throw to the plate. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Everything done right, Dan, on both sides, the defensive side and the offensive side, to send him. And the outfielder made a strong, accurate throw. But that runner was safe. No doubt about it. That's one of those where you got to be aggressive as a third base coach. You know the outfielder has a strong throwing arm. You're taking your a lot of things. You're trying to get through a decision to send a good send in a close play. But it all worked out. Hit in the air to center field. Fowler's under it. Makes the catch but the runner from third breaks for home. And it's a sack fly and an RBI. It's now a 2 nothing game. Great job there by this power hitter. Known for driving the ball out of the ballpark. Does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Striding in once again, Mitch Moreland. He got on top of one and was a ground out ah. victim last time. No balls in one strike. Two out, nobody on. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw in time and the side is. Into the box now. Chris Davis is set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Things not looking very good so far in this one. But we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs. And this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And this is swung on and missed and this fourth inning will start the same way he ended the third with a strikeout and there's one away. 
this pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. As Price starts him with a strike, it's 0-1. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. Good changeup, and it's 0 2. Swing and a miss as he ran that two seamer right by him for the second out. Wow, talk about being efficient. How about six pitches, two strikeouts? Doesn't get much better than that. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. And it's fouled away. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for the A's so far. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down, three strikes. Digging in for his second at bat, Eduardo Nunez. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Slider right over the middle, taken for a strike. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. After two breaking pitches, there's a pretty good chance right now you're probably going to get something right in the middle of the strike zone to swing at. So if you're looking for it, go ahead and turn that baby loose. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble. Three and one. The 3 1. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. The left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's ready. Here's the 1 0. There's that little sinker right over the outside corner. A 1 1. Taken on the outside corner for strike two. In the dirt, but it's swung on for the third strike. Now with the plate, Rafael Devers. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on to first, two gone. Ready for another chance. Christian Vasquez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Couldn't wait back a swing and a miss Vasquez a 27 year old he was a ninth round pick during the 2008 draft. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was my hats off to him. Ready with the 0 2. Oh, he's able to get a glove on that one. Fortunately he's able to stick with it and get the out at first. Now the first pitch here from Price. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and zero. Oh. One and one. One one. The one one home. 
Now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. The one two. Hit hard on the ground to second. Up with the ball is Pedroia. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Up next, the speedy outfielder Dustin Fowler. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a ball 1 0. After watching that one go by and a ball being called, you could rest assured he knows he's not getting away with another one of those. I guarantee you he's going to be aggressive on this next pitch. Hit hard up the middle. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. Maddie, that's a surprising pitch right there. I don't understand after oh, blowing a fastball by him, he would speed his bat up with off speed. Yeah, redemption after being late right on time with the off speed pitch next. And a good change up there by Price as he jumps ahead, strike one. Fouled away. If I'm on the mound right now, I know I'm in the hitter's head. He was definitely sitting soft. I might speed him up and elevate it right here. And he struck him out. Good pitch there as he registers his eighth punch out of the ball game. Captain John Beckley. Left side. Scooped up on the backhand. And the throw will not be in time, as I don't think he was going to get him anyway, but a fine effort nonetheless. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. You cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. A's Santiago Casilla takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Here's Mookie Betts. Lifetime numbers against Casilla. He's two for four. First pitch of the at bat. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series, and he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, and some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep, and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He swings and hits it foul off to the right and out of play. Bets on at first, nobody out. Now a throw over to first, and the runner back. He's set. Here's the 0 1. Now a fastball off the plate away, a ball and a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Two balls and a strike. Well, that two seam fastball ran a little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off speed pitch. He's running. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's in there. Base hit. The throw to third. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. Well, that's surprising right there. Hit and run tactic used to perfection. Balls hit to the outfield. The batter does his job. I don't know how that runner's standing on second still. You tip your hat to the outfield to get it in super quick, but he's got to take the chance to get the third. Here's J.D. Martinez as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Throw behind the runner at second, and he's back easily. The 1 0. 
very weakly on the ground. That's a foul ball. And this one gets away. Throw over to third here. And oh, they say he beat the throw safe at third. So now two men in scoring position. Man, it was already a dicey situation with two on and no out. And then things get worse with the wild pitch there. So instead of a chance to turn two, they've got runners on second and third. And a base hit will drive in a pair. And it looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give them a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Throw into third will not be in time. And it's a two-run double. Now batting. The first base hit. Stepping into the box, Mitch Moreland. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough, but it does one hop the wall off the track, and he cruises into second with an RBI two-bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. Here comes the first pitch. Lined to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. That's what we refer to in the biz as a hanger right there. He's lucky he's getting his baseball back. Now a throw over. And they get dirty, but he's back in safely. In now, Andrew Benintendi, as he yeah. takes a called strike on the black, it's 0-1. Has a look, now the pitch. Runner goes for second, pitch is high, the throw is well behind the play, that's an easy stolen base. Putting a lot of pressure on him here to start the inning. Runners on the corners and they send the runner from first. Got in there safely, and now that takes the double play possibility away and gives them two guys in scoring position. Now the one and one pitch. And now a soft liner double. to the left side. But this is a foul ball. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Fowler ranging back at the track. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into score. There's no question he's been struggling at the dish lately, trying to do anything to get himself going. So he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I could have probably hit that pitch. Yeah, that's one of those gift pitches, not the location he was shooting for. Rafael Devers, the next to bat, fouled off. No hits to this point. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Nunez at third. Benintendi is at second with nobody out. And he's a little too high with that one. Two balls and a strike. Got to believe the manager didn't have this in mind when he went to the bullpen. This reliever's got to step up right here. It's starting to tickle a little bit after getting hit around early. Ready with two balls and a strike. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. 
it's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. The 3-1. Well, some might say a walk there is okay because you've got first base open, but he's been struggling out there. And if you're going to work around hitters, you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes hit the other way out toward right field. Joyce is there and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning and the throw comes in and all three runners are forced to hold on with one away now. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Mookie Betts. He scored after reaching on a single in his last time up. And here's a slider that's nowhere close and it's one and oh. Now here's a ball hit sharply toward the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. It's eight to nothing. He was able to spit on that first slider right there, guys, but he didn't let the second one go. Able to execute and drive the baseball. Into the box now, Dustin Pedroia, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Line toward right center. That's in there. Base hit. One run is scored. He pulls into third safely as they also score a pair of runs on the play. Yeah, with the bases loaded, he didn't walk a run in, so instead he makes the cardinal mistake of putting it right in the heart of the plate. And when you do that, you're going to pay the price, and that's exactly what happens with a two RBI double. Standing in now, J.D. Martinez, as he rips it on the ground to second. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Probably wanted more out of that at bat with runners in scoring position, but at least he does the job and brings one home. Maybe the next guy can pick up the runner at third now. Here's Steve Pierce now. One for two on his line so far in the game. First offering on its way. Hit out towards second. Barreto brings it in. And it's in time at first. And hallelujah, the side is retired. But not before they hang a nine spot on him here to really open up this ball game. Two, three, and four do up in the home. Here's Jed Lowry now. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by an opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. A ball and a strike. Popped him up. Bats coming on. He's there and records the first down. How about it? Ready for another well, shot now. Him. Chris Davis. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. And he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1. Davis. Sometimes called Crush with a K and an H. He was selected in the seventh round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Man, coming out of the late rounds, you have to grind for everything. Nothing is given to you. And this guy has turned himself into a very solid big league ball player. That's a big accomplishment.
Now the 0 2 from Price. Change up and he ain't buying it. One and two. Love the execution of that change up, but hats off to the guy at the plate right now. That's a great take in this situation. Maybe bought himself a fastball. And he struck him out. So double digits now. Ten strikeouts for him thus far. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely lost at the plate, flailing all over the place. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. Stepping in now, Matt Olson. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. 1-2-3 go the A's. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. Back here at the Coliseum in Oakland. This one pretty much all over, but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Yasmera Petit enters now in a mop up role as she'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Yasmera Petit. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. First delivery to him on the way. This is line to left. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough now, out number one. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. In now, Eduardo Nunez. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. Ready with the 0 1. High in the air out to center field. Fowler's under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now to the plate, Andrew Benintendi, hoping to build off that RBI double from his last plate appearance. First offering on its way. Hit out towards second. Barreto's got it. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that in. Here's Matt Joyce now. Leading off for the game. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. And the throw on to first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Now the A's designated hitter, Marcus Semyon. Couple of ground outs on his batting line in two trips so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. You pull a fastball like that, you got to tell yourself to slow it down a little bit, play more gap to gap, and keep that front shoulder square pointed towards the pitcher. That'll keep everything on plane. Lifted in the air to right field. Betts has a read on it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Center fielder number 11. Up next, the speedy oh, outfielder there. Dustin Fowler. Fowler. He's one for two in this one. Hoot. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. Now the 0 2 from Price. That's it to short. Does he have another 1 2 3 inning? And he's safe. He's in there. He's safe. 
Yeah, nobody on right there, Dan. Two outs. It's not every day you see a guy pick him up and put him down like him getting down to first base right there. Bought himself a base hit. Well, I tell you what, if you, there's a couple of things you can do. It doesn't take a lot of talent to hustle. It doesn't take talent to be on time. And he hustled out of the box, turned what could have been a, a ground out to end the inning into an infield single. Bryce ready with another 0-2. Ground ball sent back up the middle. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. Hey, this might be their best opportunity to at least get on the board. They've been struggling offensively, and they find themselves with two runners on board. Let's see if they can continue it. Into the box, Josh Fegley. As Price starts him with a strike, it's 0-1. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. In the air to left. Pierce is after it, but it's the shortstop that gets there, and that ends. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. for the Red Sox. Third baseman. Rafael Devers. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No, and a fastball hard. just a bit up. Line drive to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Into the box now, Christian Vasquez. And on the first pitch, he hits it in the air to right. Joyce is there, one away. Here's Mookie Betts. How about him? Right here. Mookie Betts. First offering on its way. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Davis going back. Gone! Two runs on the board after the home run by Mookie Betts. Sixth home run on the season for him as the blowout continues. Well, if I was the manager, I would tell my pitchers to work around this guy. I mean, he's hit three home runs against them in this series. What more do they need to see? Four, five, jeez. Enough is enough. Here's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. Backhanded. So won't get him. Boy, and they have not been able to get him out. This is now a five-hit ball game for him here, and those don't come along every day. Ian Kinsler will come on now and pinch run here. Number five, Ian Kinsler. Here's J.D. Martinez. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. One ball has already left the yard, and the big boys haven't even come up again. Get the fireworks ready. Hit in the air down the right field line. Chasing after it is Joyce, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Here's a look over to first, and they got him. Decisions like that have to be made knowing who you've got at the plate. This guy can put one over the fence no problem, so that wasn't very smart baseball. The 1-1 home is laid off for ball two. Wow, it just doesn't seem like he's being as aggressive as he was before he gave up that home run. Was throwing the ball great. Now it seems like he's a little bit more tentative throwing the ball across the plate. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. I think he'll be frustrated with himself about that swing. He was in a good hitter's count and ended up chasing one out of the zone. Now the count's even again. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors. Ian Kinsler will stay in the ballgame now as he comes on to play second here. And next up will be Franklin. Beretta, and at this point of the game, 
Now the first pitch here from Price. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Hey, he's been able to pound that zone all night. Working that outer half of the plate, that's why he's having so much success. Here comes the 0-1. Grounded up the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now batting. Shortstop. Here's Jed Lowry now. Fourth trip to the plate now, and he's hitless to this point. Yeah, he and his teammates have really been shut down by some very good pitching in this one. Been fun for a guy like me to watch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And it's gone. It's a solo shot for Jed Lowry. First home run of the campaign for him, but they're going to need a few more here as they're still well behind. Yeah, all things considered, it's been a day to forget for them. So this homer will be a welcome to everyone in that dugout. Maybe this gives them a little momentum going into the next game. And a called strike down in the zone, nothing in one. Bases are empty, one man out. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Man, you find yourself down 0 2 after two great executed pitches right there. Gotta look for. Now, this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back to back jacks. Yeah, he saw his partner in crime go deep the previous bat and thought. Now batting. Here comes the Red Sox manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to be all this afternoon for David Price. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. Line drive base hit. Hey, look at this guy compete right there. Nice base hit. Are you kidding me? He had already had the hat trick. He was staring the golden sombrero straight in the face. And, he said, and a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. In there, and he's in control 0-2 now. Two ball, two strikes. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Stepping in now, Marcus Semyon. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Popped him up. And that's going to land foul. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Slider whiffed on for strike three. A great pitch to put an end to the. So here's the Boston cleanup hitter, Steve Pierce. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Now here it comes. Ninth inning begins as the first pitch is taken for ball one. And 2 0 now as this misses below the knees. Hitters count. Here's the 2 0 pitch. And he fouls this one off. And he missed again, high and away this time, three and one. Mitch Moreland will be next. Hey. 
Uh, no leadoff walk just yet as that finds the strike zone and the count comes full at three and two. Popped him up. Olsen moving to his left and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. At the plate, Mitch Moreland. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. First pitch coming, here it is. Slice down the left side, but foul. The 0 and 1 delivery. And this is hit hard up the middle. And there are two away now. Now batting. So striding in, Eduardo Nunez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. Towards second. And this will be put away easily for the out. Red Sox go down one, two, three. But not to fear as they hold a commanding lead. Standing in, Dustin Fowler starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball that just misses inside. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. Two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Next up for the A's, Matt Chapman. Last time through was a base hit. Too high, 1-0. 1-0. Oh. One, oh. one out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to count to Matt Chapman. He's going to need to shorten up and get that foot down a little bit earlier if he hopes to be catching up to that fastball. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, he's really rolling on the mound right now. All you have to do is look at the last four hitters for evidence. All four of them have gone down on strikes, as you're seeing here. That's not easy to do, so you know he's got to be pretty dialed in out there. Standing in now, Josh Fegley, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's working on a one for three thus far. The wind up and the 0 1. The bouncer to the left side. Throw on to first, and the Red Sox have come in here and finished off a three game sweep as this one is over. Well, the discussion around this game is real easy. It goes back to that 